On the very last day before the long holiday, there are two women helping each other to pick up the ring trap deep down the pool. Soon, the two realize the pool is being covered up on the surface. However, it is too late to call someone for help. How did the two of them get out of the pool? This is Movie Shortens. Let's find out the answer in the following movie titled 12 Feet Deep. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care! At the pool, the manager pins the closing notes around for extended holiday while talking on the phone. Bree leaves her ring in the bag so she can continue her practice. Later, Bree's sister, Jonah, who has returned from the drug rehabilitation, also joins in the pool. Meanwhile, the janitor, Clara, gets caught by the manager for stealing money in the lost and found room. This is the third time she did it. Clara is told to finish up the cleaning today at the pool before being fired. It is time to close the pool. The manager urges the swimmers to leave. While packing up, Bree notices that her engagement ring is missing. Jonah spots it stuck in a metal grate in the water. Bree immediately dives right in to get the ring back. However, the ring gets trapped in the grate. Even Jonah follows Bree to help her but to no avail. The manager is satisfied as everyone has left on time. So he presses the button to cover the pool up for the long holiday coming. Jonah and Bree attempt to come up but it is too late. As Jonah becomes pissed, Bree tries to calm her down. No one stays at the pool at the time to help the sisters. The two then manage to lift the cover but it is made from fiberglass and almost unbreakable. Jonah starts to shout at Bree for risking their lives over a stupid ring. Bree then says that it is her proposal ring and she wants to show it off with Jonah. When inspecting the fiberglass cover for weak spots, Bree and Jonah find a small hole. It is so tiny even a hand can't put it through. At this point, Jonah confesses that she is jealous of Bree's life while having the drug rehab. Bree has a perfect life and a coming wedding while Jonah struggles in the rehab. Jonah has to deal with her troubles alone after years in the center. Bree learns that Jonah meant to throw her ring earlier. The two quarrel shortly after that. Bree decides to get back to the ring alone. Finally, she gets it out of the metal grate. Later, the sisters agree not to fight anymore and try to seek help instead. Bree suggests to lift up the grate, but Jonah is right. It is too heavy to open. Time goes by until the end of the day. The automatic lights in the pool shut down. David, Bree's fiance, keeps calling, but her phone is now in her bag. Jonah blames David for calling hours, but not to try looking for them. Jonah has no trust in David since the very beginning. The sisters again argue over David. Shortly after that, Bree has a severe headache. Bree reveals she has diagnosed with diabetes three years ago. Her blood sugar is rapidly declining. Without regularly taking her insulin shot, she'll fall into a diabetic coma. Unfortunately, the insulin shot is now in her purse. Jonah is shocked but she assures Bree that she'll take the shot as soon as possible. The two then manage to widen the hole with a plastic piece found in the pool. When Jonah asks about the family during her being away, Bree opens up about her father, who was an aggressive alcoholic and drug user. Bree meant to fire the house that caused his death. Suddenly, the two hear the door open. It is the janitor Clara who is preparing to leave. Clara is surprised there are two women trapped in the pool. Realizing the camera system is on, Clara enters the control room and turns it off. She picks up Bree's bag, taking her cash, smartphone, and credit card, leading the sister to believe she is going to assist them. Clara then asks the girls for the phone pin code. Jonah stops Bree for doing so as they begin to question Clara's strange attitude. Clara reveals her past in prison and how struggling she is now with her children and the monthly bills. As the sisters delay, Clara turns off the heater. Bree has to compromise with Clara by giving her the pin code, hoping to get her help. Clara then leaves with the card, promising to get back soon as she can't take the money from Bree's card. The girls have no choice but to spend the night waiting. As Bree is getting weaker, Jonah dives deep down to the metal grate. Being exhausted due to the cold water, Jonah can't deal with the metal grate alone. Jonah returns to the surface, blaming herself for being coward and helpless. The sisters embrace to warm each other up. In the morning, Clara comes back as promised, teasing the two poor women. At this point, Jonah tries to be polite to the janitor, asking for her assistant to take the insulin shot for Bree. Being mad as there is only $80 in Bree's card, Clara threatens the sisters to let them die in the pool for their stupidity. A moment later, Jonah decides to punish Clara for her cruelty and not keep her words earlier. Jonah pretends to cry and asks Clara to come closer to the hole on the pool cover. As Clara places her ear to the hole, Jonah suddenly stops her to the ear with the sharp plastic. Clara yells out with pain. 
Clara rushes to see how bad the wound is and stops the bleeding from her ear. The janitor then activates the automatic pool cleaning system, which causes the females to choke on chlorine. The sisters crave for help from Clara. Understanding the risk of her actions, Clara switches it off after a few minutes. At this point, Clara says she has nothing to lose in the world. She needs the sisters to pay the price for their action. Clara demands the sisters to turn over their most valuable property, which is Bree's engagement ring. Being fed up with the torment, Bree decides to give Clara her ring. Clara again leaves the pool with the ring. Jonah cries in despair, accusing herself for everything. Bree consoles Jonah and forgives her for the wrongdoings. After hours in water, Bree begins to have hallucinations. Bree sees the pool cover finally open up and David arrives to rescue her. However, Jonah is not around. She suddenly wakes up realizing Jonah actually disappears in a pool. Having tired and cold, Bree slowly moves around and sees Jonah with a sharp plastic in her neck. Jonah intends to end her life. Bree tells Jonah to stop and believe that they will survive. However, Jonah claims that even if they get over this, Bree has her great life to move on while she is going to drown in drugs again. Bree cries and tells that she always needs Jonah in her life and no one abandons her as she thinks. The two sisters finally make up after all these years. While Clara puts on Bree's ring, David calls up again. Clara opens the voice messages and learns that David will call 911 since he hasn't seen her home. As worrying to be sent to prison again, Clara shows up again at the pool to talk to the sisters. Clara wants the two to promise not to reveal a word about her to anyone else or she'll abandon the two in the pool forever. Jonah and Bree agree, embracing each other in happy moments. Clara decides to open the pool cover to let Bree and Jonah out, but the passcode she was given by the manager is no longer valid. Clara explains to the two and says that she has had enough with the situation. Clara then leaves and lets the sister decide their fates. The worst fear now comes to Jonah and Bree. Another night passes, Bree seems to fall into a coma. Jonah manages to shake her out of it. Bree reveals that during the accident that killed their father, she actually stopped him from fleeing, saying, I killed that monster. Jonah decides to try to lift up the metal grate again. After several failures, she takes the tower from Bree and hooks it to the grate. Finally, she is able to take one piece out. Coming back to Bree, Jonah is shocked that Bree has completely passed out and drowned in water. Jonah has to do CPR on Bree, making Bree gain consciousness. Jonah takes all her remaining power to break the cover from the hole. Jonah rips off the fragiles to widen the hole, bleeding her arm. Finally, the sisters escape out of the pool. Jonah quickly gives Bree the insulin shot, unsure if Bree can survive. All of a sudden, Clara appears with a gun pointing at the two. She threatens to kill Bree and Jonah after considering what would happen if they didn't die in the pool, as she does not want to return to prison. However, Clara slowly drops the gun down and returns the ring to Jonah, feeling guilty and sympathetic. Jonah calls the police and the ambulance to help Bree, telling Clara to leave before. In the last scene, Bree is awake, receiving the ring back from Jonah. The two sisters burst into tears and follow the police out of the pool. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.